Okay. Hey, good morning, you guys. Today is September 24th, 2020. And I have a dream I want to share with you. I had this dream a couple days ago, but I, I wasn't sure what the meaning was. So I just kind of left it alone and just prayed on it. And this morning, the Lord gave me understanding. And then after I was given understanding, I also uh, received a confirmation. So I was pretty excited about that. So in this dream, I was in some kind of dress shop. Okay, and I was being fitted for this special dress. It was a very fancy gown, uh, high heels. Uh, anybody that knows me knows I never wear high heels. And so anyways, this is symbolic. Our clothing and, and things like that in the dream um, are usually symbolic. And it's symbolic of our calling, okay? So anyways, while I was being fitted, everybody was in kind of a hurry to get this done. And then I had to go somewhere. So I said to the lady, um, can we just do a follow-up? Because um, usually when you go in to have a dress done, you have like two or three fittings. So she's like, well, we can't wait the normal time. We're going to have to do this sooner because we only have a week. So I said, okay, and I left. So I've been praying on this dream and uh, just kind of leaving it alone. And then this morning while I was in the office working, the Lord gave me understanding. The understanding is that the bride or the church, however you want to say it, I believe are being uh, prepared for our calling, what we are being called to do in these end days, okay? Because I was trying to think, well, could it be a wedding, uh, maybe something symbolic of how soon the wedding is, but the dress that I was being fitted for was not a wedding dress, but it was a very special, fancy gown, so, like I said, so I just waited on this, and then the Lord just gave me the answer today, and that is that many of us, we, we, are, going, we are being called to, uh, to do this last job, so to speak, in the end days. So what happened after that is I, I went on YouTube, and I uh, listened to a man called Edward Umbling, and his video today was called Final Call. And that's what it spoke of, that the church is being called to, uh, or the bride, um, to prepare for their calling. And then I got to thinking back about the, because I also follow Dana Coverstone, and he had said the same thing, that the bride was called to pray. This was a month of pray, and then the next month was some kind of battle. And then we are to pray for a, a huge harvest. Now, in my past, you guys, when I was younger and first started getting all these dreams, I wasn't for sure how the rapture was going to happen, and I still don't. But through the years and through what the Lord has been showing me, I realize now that, you know, through Scripture, we are that lamp on the hill. We are that light. And it only makes sense that God is going to use us. I also told you guys that my son was, uh, I was told in a dream that my son would be called into the last 15 minutes of the game. And he has definitely been called in. You guys, he is preaching the word of God. Uh, he sent me something the other day, and I, I seriously had tears of just joy and happiness. I am extremely humbled by what the Lord is doing. We serve an amazing God. You guys, he is so full of grace and mercy. And even these people um, that aren't following him the way that we are supposed to, this is, he's... He's wanting to bring them in before the rapture. And I believe this is uh, where we're going to be used. Now, I don't know how or, or exactly what we will be doing. But he specifically showed me today that this dream was symbolic of I am being prepared for this calling. Whatever this last thing is that we're supposed to do. I truly believe that. Okay? And I believe each and every one of us are going to be used that way. So I would just like to ask you guys to pray and ask the Lord to show you what he has for you to do. It may be intercession. It may be a certain person to reach out to. It could be being an example. It could be a hundred million different things. But I do know that we have a very short time because the woman said that we didn't have a lot of time. We were being prepared in the dream, I was being prepared, and I didn't have a lot of time. They had to get me fitted and ready for this last calling. And what I wanted to say is I just ask each and every one of you, like I always do, please pray for discernment. Please take this to the Lord, and please share it with me if you get a confirmation on this. Okay? And uh, I found it very encouraging. And I had another dream last night, um, 
basically the same thing that we're being called. And I think we're going to experience some crazy things because in my dream last night, the people I were with, they were expecting these great things to happen. Because she said, I haven't had my vision yet, have you? And I said, no. And I just, the whole sense of this dream made me feel that it it isn't going to be like a normal thing that we're going to be experiencing some pretty amazing things in these end days. And I really honestly feel and know that I know that we are right at the end, you guys. Persecution is, is, uh, comes in so many different forms. I know I'm getting it from my family and I also, um, spending time with the Lord. I know now that he has shown me that it is time for me to shake the dust off my feet. I just knew that I couldn't do anything unless he told me to. And he showed me that, um, I've done all that I could do. And it's time to now focus on this last mission, so to speak. And this so lines up with other dreams that I've had. I, I showed you guys before that we had one mission left to go. This is it. So stay close to the Lord, pray and ask him what it is he would have you do in these final moments. Because remember, the Bible says that we are like a lamp on the hill. We are to be a light. So God is going to use us to bring in the, this last harvest of people. It, it's almost like it's the people of the church, but they're not following him. There's a certain group that follow the Lord. They pick up the cross, they follow the Lord. And then there's other people that aren't quite there yet. And he's wanting to bring everyone in all these people i mean he wants he doesn't want anybody he doesn't want to lose anyone but he's gonna i believe gonna use us to bring in this last harvest before the rapture i hope i'm making sense but i'm really feeling it i'm believing it i i mean i know what the lord laid on my heart this morning so i think it's encouraging and i wanted to share that with you guys today and like I said, I wasn't going to mention it because I, I really didn't understand it, but I do now. We are in the final moments. We're being prepared. Um, yeah, and pray for strength, you guys. Pray for strength. We're going to need it, okay? And uh, pray for, just keep praying for everyone. Uh, pray for your enemies. Pray for those that persecute you. This is the stuff I've been doing. Um, when your flesh gets in the way, I know it's hard. I've had to just literally say, Lord, you need to take this. Because, you know, I want to please my father. And this is what we're supposed to do. So, anyways, if I get anything else, I'll let you guys know, okay? And uh, I just pray for each and every one of you. I ask the Lord to please bless you, keep you safe, you and your family. And if I get anything else, I'll let you know. All right, have a great day, you guys.